want to talk to you about, it's, it's always an interesting question, but uh, alcohol consumption and bodybuilding. Do the two kind of contradict each other? Because I know you enjoy wine sometimes. I've seen you post about that. You work with, I think, a wine company. Does, does it ever um, one interfere with each other, or you think it can be healthy amounts you can drink as a bodybuilder? So uh, the wine thing, uh, alcohol thing, is uh, I'm a swimming gay. Right. I'm also, uh, I, if you see, I have plenty of wine, about 1,500 bottles of wine, and wow. I cook with wine, I drink wine, and mm -hmm. I educate people on wine and regions, whatnot. Now, uh, in some perspectives, wine is good. Some mm -hmm. perspectives, if you're doing white, it can be sugar, it can be bad for you, right. and it's always going to be in moderation. Mm -hmm. So, if, I mean, in some cases, people, the bodybuilders will drink some wine to fill them up, you mm -hmm. know, make them pop, you know, make muscles, they get it in, it's like, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. they got that jolt of energy and they got that, their veins and their, their body's responding to it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, overindulging? No, you can't do it. <laughs> but, uh, I mean... Not every once in a while? <laughs> not once in a, I mean, if you're going to call it a cheat day or a cheat yeah, wine no, right. day, cheat, if, yeah. you saw my, um, if you saw my pod with uh, Mark Bell, we did a mm. wine pairing and working out. Mm, so wow. we worked out, I brought, we did about seven different wines. Uh, As you're working out, you're drinking? Yeah, we, I oh, did wow. 2,000, well, we did a lot, but at the end of it, I did a, like a chest, a, um, a squat, uh, whatever, and we paired them with wine. Wow, that's crazy. So, yes. so what happened at the end? Uh, we were high. Because <laughs> we already did like 700 reps, 800, mm -hmm. 900 reps, wow. and we didn't eat, and as soon wow. as we take a sip of that wine, Oof. it was just, that was just for fun. Wow. But you know, it was like, putting those things together, just For something sure. interesting. What do you think about the Game Changers documentary? I don't know if you saw it or not, but basically the, the vegan I, diet as a I, chef, do, do you, have you tried it? Do you think it's uh, healthier for humans to be vegan? So I cook vegan, uh, veganism, I'm, I'm all into that. I, mm. The first thing I did with one of the TV shows was vegan meals and I'm mm. great at it. Um, <clears throat> again, to each its own, mm. um, me personally, I eat a lot. You know, for that protein intake, and then you got to think about your medical needs, whether you be iron deficiency, and it's so many different factors, just oh, like right. with diets. Right. So people, I mean, I could sell you ice in Alaska if right. I tell you long enough, right. <laughs> you know. Right. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I have nothing against veganism. I, I, I love the whole idea of it. Uh, I love plant-based because that's what we grew up off of. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm from Mississippi, and that's mm -hmm. basically oh, really? what we had because we were oh. poor. <laughs> you know, if we got a little piece of meat, we were lucky. <laughs> but I eat vegetables my whole entire life. Right, now right. I'll eat meat with a slew of vegetables as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you ever switch to be completely vegan, you think, or it's not for you? You know what? I'm thinking about it. Really? I'm thinking about it. I want to see, and mm -hmm. not because everybody else, is going to it, mm -hmm. uh, not even because Arnold. Arnold's 100% vegan now. So uh, he's he's actually that's actually a fact. Wow. It, it's actually a fact. He's 100% vegan now, and I people don't understand that you can shock your body, and you know right, that shocking right. your body. Some people accept it. Some people may. Some people mm -hmm. may even thrive off of it. I was talking to a guy last night at the gym. He said once he switched to it, he got more energy. Mm -hmm. So it's to each his own.